and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Yep, that's what we officially decided to call it. You're just on board now. We'll, we'll see. Kind of we'll see. Yeah, yeah. To, for today. For today. I might change my mind again. Well, let's dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it's time for the Wheel of Energy! Oh man, if I recall, Ben, salad is what we're hoping for. Salad for or maximum points. Or, or possibly lightning as well. I oh, think okay. those are both pretty strong, All maybe. Right. It, like it's sitting on lightning, I think, to start. So yeah. give it a give it a spin, give it a spin. Let's see what we got. Soft spin. Soft spin. Hmm? Soft spin? You soft think spin. so? I thought it, I felt like it was going for a while. A little bit of a soft spin. What's it gonna be? It is it's salad, salad energy! What? No way. Alright, it's gonna be a big points day. I'm feeling it already. I'm super excited. Yes, there are a lot of salad energy type inside of the crown zenith collection yes. so i think i think we're gonna see lots of shifting about oh, uh, speaking of shifting about no. we need to change that we gotta he change did that. this sometimes he forgets and that's usually my favorite those are my favorite times so, because then we don't have to be stalled i just want to get into the game want to get hands-on packs you know, but instead we have to sit here and he, he just, he, he insists that, that this is like a worthwhile inclusion of the show. Are you done? Leafy on. I'm done. Okay. Okay. Welcome back, Leafster. There we go. Ready to score some big points today. Who's pack number one? Pack number one is going to be Narwhal King. Finished last season with seven points. Has been an SCG sub since the Mario Kart days. Oh my goodness. Since the Mario Kart days. Yeah, randomly chosen D carts and characters. There's new DLC for Mario Kart. Whoa. Hold the phone. Whoa. Before we open Narwhal King's pack, though, we forgot to announce today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which are going to be Bidoof, Sunkern, and Crocorock. So, Sunkern gonna be a big card today because uh, you get those double points on it. Very exciting, or very exciting. Salad. So always great when you have a, uh, this, this Sunkern feels like normally a pretty forgotten Pokemon, but today is its day. It is the most common type in the pack, or I think, or amongst the most common. Uh, it is a common card. It's, yeah, so Sun Current gets its day in the sun, which is beneficial yeah. because it's salad energy, and salad energy loves to eat the sun. Exactly, let's see. Can we go right out of the gate? No, uh, we have a rock is pummeling. pummeling for Narwhal King. Let's see how we do. You know, we called, we said there was a lot of salad, oh, there and That's there's one, one. there's yep. Tangela, the Raihan, and boom, the Tapu Lele. The Raihan will score, as will the Tapu Lele. So I think that's a three point pack oh. overall. Yes. Right. Yes, I believe you are correct. I okay. You are correct. Yeah, absolutely. Getting back into scoring mode. Boom. All right. This is going to put Narwhal King at three points. So sadly, not going to be in a podium position for Narwhal King. Uh, as a reminder, if you want that big Steve award, you're going to have to land on the five point slot. Yes. There is two people at five points right now, but there's already, we already know who's winning. It is Hannah. She has 33 cents to her five points, which is impressive to get five points with 33 cents. That sounds like a lot of like a uh, common chase card. Yes, power. exactly. Yes. So it's going to be, it's going to be a, a fierce competition to try to take Hannah down from the big Steve award. However, uh, the quality eighth place award, I feel like is just Open season at the open moment. Open season. Yeah. So currently, uh, Ophion is in eighth place with 15 points, actually tied with uh, Becky Borst for that eighth place spot. But I feel like seeing higher than 15 points is almost a certainty. Almost. I bet that one changes four times this episode. We also, in first place, have CK Hooftalk, who's managed to hold on, but... Uh, I, I'm betting that he's that they're not safe. <laughs> do, you, do you think not safe? Thanks to thanks to uh, Jack. Oh, possibly down to our very next contestant, Jack. All right, Jack. Let's see what we can do for you here. This is Jack's second season. Finished last season at nine points. 
nickname is Rab for Rabbit. Because he's always been very energetic. Let's see how's he gonna score today. With the flip. Oh, there we oh! go. Okay. Wow, Rabbit. Ben, you might have called it. Yep. Salad yeah. energy off the top. Right, and rabbits eat salad. They do. Wow. Okay. Let's Known see. Known thing. Known thing. All right. Let's see what we can do Just here. The tang. Let's go up yeah, the grub, grub and scores. scores. Yep. Slandered. Are we gonna have anything big? Leon scores. Leon will score. And, and oh, the gum shoes. Wow. Not much of it. So that's gonna be what six points total. I think six I points. Total. But a strong six points, honestly. A so strong six points. Yep. Yep. But that's gonna that's gonna take you out of Big Steve. <laughs> Actually, really close to Big Steve. S dangerously wow, close. Wow. But the, unfortunately, yeah. not gonna cut it at all. Sorry about that. That's okay. If but congratulations. On congratulations your card. all the same. Jack. We'll mail them to you either which way. You get that cool Leon card. It's signed by Leon himself. Next cool. up is going to be Blue Malamute. Mute. Malamute. 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 I, I remember because I was I was told that I pronounced it incorrectly. Malamute. Uh, because I believe they came in last place on our second season overall. It's just funny, maybe like you pronounce the Pokemon wrong and I'll just pronounce the players wrong. <laughs> there we go, right. there this you go. A, it's a thing. What ultimately becomes more offensive is, yeah, a Pokemon channel that can't pronounce the Pokemon or, uh, or a game show that can't, can't pronounce its contestants. <laughs> oh, EK Sko, wherever you are. <laughs> Fireball energy for Blue Malamute. Oh, there you go, that's Oh, the Crocorox scores. That is one of our chase cards for the day. Switch. Oh, I see something poking out back Do there. Do you? Right? Okay, okay. There's something I feel like is gonna. Oh, oh and the a Scyther! Scyther! Wow. Gra you know, you, when you actually get the real life brownie points for the Scyther card right there, yeah, that's gonna score. And. and oh, oh, and a Leafeon! And a Leafeon! Big Leaf scores! Oh my gosh. All right, so that's gonna be pretty exciting here. Uh, let's see. So We're gonna have to do some fun math. Yes. Yeah, so the Leafeon's gonna come in at uh, two dollars ten cents. So it will be worth three, three points standard plus, plus an additional for type advantage so times two. So yes, yeah, so that'll be worth four, five, six, twelve points. Twelve points. Twelve points. Nailed it. Wow. Nailed it. Amazing. Did that? And okay. Hello, it is Ben from the future here coming in to make a comment on Ben and Jay from the past where we clearly thought that there was a type advantage on that last pack. There wasn't. So instead of 12 points, it's six points. That's all. Okay, very close to messing around with the leaderboard some, but it doesn't. But it doesn't. But it does, it at, least, at least within that top 10, it's going to put you in around like a tie for 13th, I believe, with Emily Stock. But the good news is you get the Leafeon V-Star either way, which is really exciting. And a Scyther, which is possibly more exciting. It's Reverse Hollow. I know, So I know. it's like an extra rare Scyther. So put that in your vault, your safe, whatever you've got for keeping all of your rare cards that you get here on Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. I'm, right. sure that, I'm sure that everybody, as soon as they became a patron of the show, went out and bought themselves safe so they had a, a safe yeah. place <laughs> yeah. to keep all the cards that we send your way. Everyone owns a safe. Everyone, yeah, the safe, the safe industry skyrocketed when this, this show, show came about. really <laughs> helped make that out. Next up is Vincent. Vincent. Vincent finished last season with six points. I bet they got to do it this, in this pack. In this pack, this, this pack right here. Crown Zenith has been a bonkers set. Uh, for high scoring, and we know that there's going to be at least one type advantage right there, right off the top yeah. of the shell. Now, interestingly, um, because we have the salad energy, it feels like the la whoever's in last place right now is probably pretty secure because it's hard to not get the at the, least for this episode. Pokemon. At yeah, least at least episode. for this episode. Yes. Yeah, there is so, one more. Uh, the beloved eyeball energy, the digging duo, the ultra ball, the salazzle, the, the grubbin scores. scores, the scrap, the heliptile, yeah, Wulu, the shinx. Oh, oh, oh and another Leafeon! Another Leafeon, but this one's way better. Oh my gosh, oh my very gosh. cool. So that's from the Glarian Gallery, which as a reminder is like where all of the points are currently like yeah. coming from. So no have doubt. to check that out. Plus we get the type advantage, which is great. And yep. the, the double. double. Okay, so look at so that, you got like your Wooloo and your double. Congratulations. Wooloo and your double, right, that's let's fantastic. Check out the, let's check out number 35 that out of the Glarian Gallery. Such a glorious Leafeon V-Star. Oh my is, gosh, it is Leafeon's is. day. Oh my goodness uh -oh. gracious, we have a new leader on the board. Do we? we do indeed. I well, I believe. Well, oh, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Okay. So it's going to come in at $35.75 so for the Leafeon. So it's 36 points. Plus an additional. Plus one. So 37. 38. 39. Oh, I was no! wrong. You were gosh. wrong. It's one off. It's in second place. Oh, oh no. It's a 39 point pass. So close. So CK Hoof Talk literally hanging Hang on, on by their hoof. Oh, but, but we were right. They beat six points in a single pack. They did beat, uh, yes, congratulations. Oh, and I'm sure eight. it is little consolation having missed out on first place. If, but, but to be fair, uh, I don't think 
41 points would have kept you safe for the lead on this entire pack. I could be wrong. I know, yeah, it'll be it'll be so curious to see. Oh my gosh, but that is a, that is a great and absolutely awesome card. That's and a great people, consolation prize. That's the thing too, is that like, yeah, it's like, it's sort of uh, like any of the evolutions I feel like are going to maintain value regardless of competitive play for a long time because- yeah. You go, um, go look up the Moonbrion, all right? Moonbrion. Moonbrion. That's the Umbreon V, the alt art Umbreon VMAX okay. from Evolving Skies. It is holding value. Yes. Crazy. It's like in the 600s. Anyway, can you imagine on this, if we pulled that? Oh my gosh, that would yeah. be like the, the record holder <laughs> yeah, forever. 600. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be amazing. Then we'd have to mail it to them and be like, oh, we had it. <laughs> we, we, we had it in the possession. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm happy to send it to you guys. Thank you so much for your continued support here. Uh, all right, next up we have Sydney Steele. Steele. Sydney Steele. All right, let's see. Sydney uh, finished last season with three points, so another person who's probably uh, in a good spot to beat themselves from last season. There we, we go. Have to think. Yeah, to Especially to with think. salad on the board. Boom. Uh, oh, oh and steel type for Sydney uh, Steel. There we go. That's amazing. Some people play to their strengths. You they know? do. They absolutely do. Scyther. Yep, score, that's yeah. a scoring card right there. The youngest, the Sharubis. Oh, Turtwig. That's going to be double score because it's uh, also the grass. And then the Lichen Rock. Okay, so let's see if okay, I. Okay, so we're, we're really. This one's worth at least two. Yeah, we know at least two because the Voltorb is the only one from the Glaring yeah. Gallery that's less than one point. So number 31 on the set. Let's see here. It's going to be worth $1.76, so two points plus an additional point for being a type advantage. So three, three four, five, six points total. Boom, dead six. Boom, dead six. There you go. Six again, so close to being in contention for Big Steve. Although, although it obviously would have been over the 33 cent mark with the Turtwig I, in yes, there. Yes, I know. I feel like we're, we're doing better about keeping track of uh, that total rare card value, which is yeah. what ultimately determines uh, who our winners are. There we go, your, uh, your turtwig has been all all sleeved up for you. There you go, Steel. Next up is Jordan D. Jordan D. Jordan D. They finished last season with six points, so that's what Sydney just finished with. I'm pulling from your side of the, the stack. Oh, my side of the stack? Today. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So these, these, should be, these should be J cards, but this does feel like a good moment for the guys in the back to sort of whisper in the back of the year a little bit. Oh, let's goodness. see, let's see. Okay. I feel like we've lightning. had some good cards in a row, though, so. Yeah, Lightning Bolt Energy. Go. Mm -hmm. The Ultra Ball, the Electric, the Lost Vacuum, Execute, the Love Disc, the Emolga, the Yamma will score. Pawnard. There we go. And. No use doesn't, oh, but. Oh, the Glaceon! Oh. All right, so that looks like Bulk V. It could it only does. be a single point, but we'll go ahead and double check it. We'll double check it. Dollar nine for the Glaceon. Okay, so, so it's a little, two. A little bit of extra, yep. So All right, two. so three points total for Jordan D. And we'll sleeve up your Glaceon for you there. Not the guys in the back best work. Not their best Not work. Not their best you know. work. But you know, it was still an evil You know, it, it, even. I will say though, it only you only said it felt like maybe they would whisper. Felt like and it. So felt like it. That's maybe. true. So maybe it hasn't completely diminished the value of the guys in the back. Yeah. Yet. Right. Exactly. All right. Next up is ha or Hogrid. 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 It looks, it looks like an O, not an A. Hogrid, Hogrid. Which is our first contender for Rookie of the Day. Which means the one, the only. The Olive Garden gift card is up for grabs. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag would be. Hashtag would be for Hashtag the breadsticks. Also, if you're a different fast food chain watching this and you're like, hey, we want in on that. That sweet, sweet rookie of the day action, you know. We can we we can be we're swayed. happy to sway it up. Right, absolutely. You know, you're we're we're open to other sponsorships. Or if you um, have somewhere that you would prefer the the card to come from, you want to start like a lobby, you know, in the comments down below, you know, just see if you can rally the troops. Yeah, it could it could happen. But right now, uh let's see if Hogrid can uh Hogrid will definitely at least take the lead. Yes, absolutely. We yeah. know that we know that Hogrid will at least maintain position. I'm gonna keep my my hand scribbled notes over here. Right, this is the way to do it. All right, Hogrid. How are we gonna do? Kabam! Rock oh, is pummeling. Rock is pummeling. Okay. okay, so no extra points here. Carnivine scores though. Grubbin scores. scores. Okay. The oh, I do see something yeah, back something there. Something peeking ben. out. Something peeking the out. The Shinx and the Zera Aura V Star. Oh, oh that's very awesome. pretty card. And then the Tauros. Tauros right there. So definitely have four scoring cards. Let's see how the Zera Aura does. That seems like a really good um, scoring position for. It's pretty the solid card, yeah. coming in at $13.13. .13. That's gonna oh. be worth 14 points plus 15, 16, 17. 17 points! You're in uh, absolutely at, at least, least with, place. 
Well, I believe we have somebody oh, no, you're who's right. already moved down. So ninth place. Ninth place. Oh, just missed out on quality. Eighth place. Oh, goodness gracious. As ever though. Either way, Hogrid in very solid contention for rookie of the day. Very, very beautiful I'm gonna go ahead card. and sleeve that up there yep, for you. So make sure you keep note. 17 points over there. I'm going to do it. All right, there you go. Yep, kablam. Congratulations to Hogrid, who had a fantastic opening showing. Man, what a... The rookies sometimes come to play, man. Sometimes, you know, sometimes. Really you just never know what you're going to get with a rookie. You never know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's the nature of it, isn't it? It is. All right, next up is Data Rach. Oh, yeah. no, Data Rach, if you'll recall, last season was so close to last place. Put up a so zero, close. put up a one, and then Lugia V came in, ruined the party. Ruined the, I think with 13 points, maybe. 14. Well, 14. 13 points for the Lugia. Must have scored somewhere else as yeah. well. I think. So let's see if Data Rage can put up a big goose egg here and redeem herself. Let's see. Let's see. I, I like to think that at this point in time, Data is actively going for the last place award. Yeah, okay. Eyeball, so eyeball, eyeball energy. Not a zero. Doesn't, yeah, there we go. So Lost Vacuum, the Electric, the Ultra Ball, the Switch, the Execute, the Love Disc, the Emolga, mm. the Yanma. Oh! That's Suicune! Oh my god. That is amazing. Gosh. The Yanma scores two. Oh, the Yanma. Yeah, yeah. you go. Well, okay. there you go. And there's the Suicune and then the Lipard at the, like, to, to finish everything off. Okay, let's take a look here. So that's going to be Galarian Gallery number 38. I love this card. Let's see. It's let's so, see. man, it's so pretty. Here, the funny thing is, is that uh, Data Rage here is sort of like known for going for last place, but like is low key just pulling really good cards. Really solid yeah, cards. And, and this is no exception coming in at $32.56. Oh. That's going to be a 33 Three, point card. 34, 35. Wow. wow. So that's, a, that's like going to put you, I believe, in. in Fifth place? Fifth place, overall? yeah. Fifth place overall. Oh my goodness. Very impressive. Very cool card. Congratulations to Data. Oh my goodness. Um, Look at the, what is the quality control on this card? You can I, see the off centeredness okay, of it. I was just it. about Ugh. to say, okay, so this is really interesting. Like, you may have wondered before, like, uh, when you get your cards graded, PSA is sort of like the gold standard. You might wonder, like, well, if it's like a like fresh pull, like you just open it from a pack, like, I haven't, I haven't touched it, I haven't interacted it, it went straight into a pack, like it hasn't been harmed. How could it be anything other than a 10? Well, if you look at this card right here and you look at the borders, you can see mm -hmm. that on this side over here, it is a lot thicker than this side over here. Mm. And that is what would actually affect the grading of the card. So right, PSA like 10. Perfect centering. Per, yes, perfect centering. So, and this one is, it's like, I, I noticed that the this, second we pulled yeah. it, it's like, this is like a, like an obviously like off center one. Yeah. Um, but doesn't affect the value of the card. Uh, as, far as, of, yeah. as far as our game goes. Yeah. As far as our game goes. Uh, and it is still an absolutely beautiful card either way. And very competitive. Right. Well, previously. No one's playing Suicune these days. These days. These days. It's all Lugia all the time. But you know what? Data Rage has a Lugia, so it's all good. <laughs> so comple <laughs> completely good for, for gameplay. There you go. Well, speaking of which, Ben, I just signed up for Charlotte Regionals this morning. Did you? I did. How so very if you're going to be in Charlotte, maybe we'll play each other. It's gonna be great. Next up, Ben, is John Smith. John probably, Smith? Probably from Jamestown, that one. Oh, the one. The, the, the one. The original. You have to think, yeah, that was the first John Smith ever, no yes. doubt. Yes, uh, Yeah, John Smith is up for Rookie of the Day. Can they score more than 17 points and get the Olive Garden gift card? Let's see. Let's I kind of doubt it, but I've been wrong many times on this show before, and almost always, uh, that's really exciting to be wrong on this show. So, let's see how John does today. Top five Pokemon are Mew, Mewtwo, Darkrai, Lucario, and Dialga. Can they pull one of those today? Fireball Energy, the Gloom, the gloom score. immediately scores. So there's that. The Luxio, the Riolu, oh, the Cherubi. Oh, there is, there. oh man, I said I might be wrong. There is something peeking out back there. Let's see what it's gonna be. Oh! Okay, so it's oh, gonna be two. double score. Yes. Because we have the uh, Galarian Gallery Dunsparce, which is awesome. And the Duraloon on VMAX! Duraloon! Oh, man. What a pack, what a pack for John Smith. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, let's, let's check both of those. Let's so double check them, 104. Yeah. For the Duraludon. Man, he is sitting there like, what is it? Do I have 17 points on the board? Okay, so two points for the, it's $1.98 for the Duraludon. Oh, so, so not nice. a lot of like extra rounding uh, or anything like Unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, let's so, check so, the Dunsparce. Yes, yeah, so, so that's gonna I, be. I'm thinking that's probably not like a 15 point card. Let's see, $1.54 for the uh, Dunsparce. So these are both two points, so two, four, uh, five, six. That is correct. Total. That seems like good maths to me. All right. We'll go ahead and sleeve them for you either which way though. I do like that there's almost like a Pixar looking Luxo lamp in the back of the Dunsparce. That's, yeah. that's pretty fun. I have the Dunsparce in my in my current deck list, so it's very playable. That's great. It goes in most Lugia decks. I can, here you yep, go. If you, get, yeah. to you. Oh, you just work on that. I know, yeah. yeah. 
like <laughs> actively folding your brand new card as I'm trying yeah. to yeah, protect just it put for a you. Put on it. That'll right. also decrease your PSA grade. <laughs> that way, yeah. considerably. Yeah. It's like, well, it was folded in half, so yeah, it so lost, lost a little bit of value. Not sure why that. you even sent it to us. Right. There we go. Duraludon and Dunsparce coming your way, John Smith. Oh man, Ben, uh, we're into like the rookie section of the cards because now we have Monkey Bacon. Monkey Bacon. Monkey I, bacon the names feels, are getting better and better. I swear, is, people are like, I just want to hear him say stuff. I know. Yeah, just making me say things. All right. Is this? Is it you? Is it me? I think it is you. Okay. For Monkey Bacon. I'll go for Monkey Bacon. Monkey Bacon also up for Rookie of the Day. This is our first pack ever. And we do have that sunkern right off the top. Yeah, there, so you can so see that. We, we know. know there's at least one extra point. Can they possibly get no V Star markers? So yeah, no, lots oh, of eyeball lots energies of eyeballs, though. Only lost could have been vacuum. good. Last week would have been perfect. Mm, there's the sun a sunker. We yep, knew that, that was that's coming. That's worth two. Yep. Coughing. The Bidoof is worth one. I think that's our first one of those today, right? Yeah. Sunker is just worth one. Oh, yeah. Because there's no bonus. Oh no, you're right. I'm sorry. It's two. Okay. My okay. bad. That's okay. That's okay. That's my bad. And the, the Tangro, which is also going to be worth. Two for the same reason. No, right? Gosh. Yes. To, yes. Yeah. Star and then type advantage. Yes. So can we two, remember four, our own five. rules? Oh, okay. But we need to do some math real quick because uh, this is uh, oh, because this, this could be this is a big uh, big Steve. This is a five pointer. Yes. Yeah, so okay, this is actually and when it comes down to these, it's total rare card value. So we're looking at the just the, the Tangro, just the Tangro. So uh, currently, you need to be less than thirty three cents. And they are. Oh no! What? They are indeed. Oh my gosh! What is the point value, Ben? Eleven cents. Eleven cents. Eleven cents. A five-point pack at eleven cents. The Tangrowth coming in hot. That was no like such way. a such a bizarre set of circumstances that needed to happen, and it all worked out. That is <coughs> fabulously lucky. So well currently done. taking over that big Steve spot. Wait, wait, wait. Is it? Yes, 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 it is. Okay. It you is. are really yeah. thrown by this. I, this is a, yeah. this, the, I was like, wait, is the Bidoof rare? No, it's not. Okay. The Bidoof's just a chase card. We got it. We've done the math right. Don't worry. 11, with 11 cents on the Tangrowth, that takes over the Big Steve spot and puts you in a really solid spot because someone's going to have to have quite a set of circumstances to get less than 11 cents value at five points. This is what I, this is what I love about the game rules, though, is that 11 cents worth of card value brought you to five total points. That's probably getting you an Elite Trainer box. Yes. Or like a whole box of this. Yes. All right. Next up, we have Austin Johnson. Austin. Austin Johnson. Here we go. Pulling the pack. Yeah, that last one threw me for a loop math wise. I know. I, I know. Like, I was make like... sure I'm getting this right. <laughs> Especially for like a podium spot, you know. <laughs> Not to worry though. For I, I know that there is a good possibility. Uh oh, I, uh -oh. Think I see something here. I'll finish v -star that thought. Star marker. Second. This means potential zero point pack. Unlikely because of the salad energy bonus, but bam. Let's see what we got. The rescue carrier, the Layron, the potion. No, you, you want no grass at this point. This is and not so, oh, oh, Scyther to the rescue. Sorry about that. Oh, and the Crocorock will score as well. Yeah. And the Snorlax. So that's going to bring you up to uh, three minus one is two. Two points. Two yeah. point pack. What is currently sitting at last place? Do we have a so, one-pointer? Hilariously, we were just talking about how the Big Steve Award with five points, uh, the actual like scoring total to like decide that is 11 cents. So in last place, you have somebody who uh, has a total rare card value of 10 cents. Oh my gosh. With one single with point. one point. Uh, so that's Sierra Cawthorn at the moment. So. All right. So it is still possible to get a zero point pack and sweep out from Sierra. I'm not sure. Are, are there... Nine cent rare cards? Do we know? I know, yeah. This is I, like, it's I, like I feel like we checked it and then it happened. I know, yeah. So this is gonna have to be like one of those things. I'm just trying to do like a quick perusal of like the first page here. You would definitely need to pull like the worst card and nothing else. And or nothing get the V-Star marker. Yeah, get the V-Star marker. In order to swoop in on Sierra. Bam. All right, Ben. Now this is someone everyone's had their eye on. It's Brooke. Brooke. Brooke, who was our last season champion. There we go. All right, Brooke. Can we do it Can again? We do it again? Wouldn't that be wild? Repeat oh victory. Repeat oh my performance. Gosh. It oh couldn't my gosh. be. It couldn't be. I mean, can CK Hoofdock be knocked off the podium? They got close today at a 39 pointer. Can Brooke? Oh, oh Brooke! Look at that. What is happening? With the salad and no. right off the top. Okay. And the Cardivine. And the Cardivine. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we got the here. The Rocker off the Aeron, the Riolu. Here we go. Oh, oh the, the Marie and oh. Oh, the Volcarona. Man, uh, you I, know Brooke was just sitting there like, no. Could way. it be? Could, could it, it be? happen? Uh, 
Uh, I see. think this is probably going to be a two. It's uh, so uh, the Mareep is going to come in at two dollars eighty six cents. So three, three points. Uh, four, five, ten. Correct. Right. Yeah. Ten, ten overall. Yep. So, oh my Man. gosh! Wow, that, that was Bro. amazing. That was like we were oh on the gosh. edge. I was like, yeah. no, and she pulled the type advantage. What? what? That could have been wild. Anyway, Brooke was an exciting player. Look, every single season too. Like uh, her first season, she got 15 points. Then, of course, the big win with the 239, and this season, uh, 10. But as ever, put up a solid showing. Put up a solid showing. Came it's to what, play. It's so. what it's what you come to expect from from your previous champions. Yeah, you it know, is, it's you like. Know. They're here to play. Ooh, wow. Okay. I was I was on the edge of my seat for that one. All right. Next up is uh, Gandalf. Gandalf. The the White Wizard themselves, all the way from Middle Earth. Let's. See, I'm gonna go from from Middle Middle Pack Ooh, for Gandalf. Right. A little. I love it. Yeah. On brand. Yeah. Right. Right. Here. It was just just blowing on the nose yeah, right. there. All right. Uh, Gandalf was born on the same day Deadpool was first released. Okay. There you go. I wonder if that means Deadpool the comic book character or Deadpool the the movie. Because oh, that man. would seem like Gandalf would be... Old? No. Gandalf's pretty old. No, I was going to say... Or young. Young. If it's the movie. If it's the movie. Old if it's the comic. Yeah, right, yes. Right, well, let us know. We need an updated fun fact about you, Gandalf. Bam. Dark Teardrop dark tear Energy. Okay. Let's see. Dusk Clops. The Matang. The, the Oddish. Is that the first Oddish we've seen all day? That's sort of a weird one. The Radiant Charizard, oh, that's, that's awesome. exciting. And the Waylord, bam. So three scoring cards, at least three points. I want to say the Radiant Charizard is going to be worth at least two, but. At least two. Is at it? Least this guy. This guy. <laughs> at least two. The Radiant Charizard's worth $7.79. <laughs> what? He said at least two. <laughs> eight. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. So eight, nine, ten. Uh, wow. Ten points for Gandalf. Very good, very good. Well done, and you get a nice radiant Charizard. It's always a good day when you pull the Charizard. It's, yeah, right? it's that's like, sort of the bottom line, no matter what is true about the Pokemon trading card game. Right. Yeah. It's like there's just no, there's no shaking. Like I always think about that too. It's like why from that original base set was it the Charizard that became so iconic versus the Blastoise right, and like the Venusaur? It, it wasn't rarer than Blastoise or Venusaur, but clearly, I mean, Charizard has always been the the crowd it's favorite. Just, it's so cool looking. <clears throat> it is. It's like it's it's unto itself at this point. Oh man! All right. Next up, we have uh, Gildruin. 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 Another kind of like fantasy sounding name. This is another contender for Rookie of the Day. Looking to take down Hall. Algrid, who right. currently has 17 points, holding that position pretty with a pretty good like grip on it, I yeah. would say. Gil Druin is training for a Mountain Trail 50k ultra marathon right now. What? That's like 31 miles, I believe. That is pretty oh, impressive. Oh, oh, look at this. What they're not training for is first place. Maybe what they're going for is last place. Maybe. You never know. You never Everybody know. has different goals. Yeah, everybody has different goals. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, I mean, like when you're out on the quest of life. Yeah. Sometimes you want to be first place, sometimes you want to be last place, sometimes you want to be Big Steve, sometimes you want to be eighth. Yeah. Let's you can see. be anything you want to be. That's right. All right. Including a 50K ultra marathoner. There we Yen go. The score. So that's going to bring you. The, oh, the Cricket Tot scores. Oh, the, the Grubbin, Grubbin scores, scores. And the Blossom scores. Man, too bad they didn't have the multiplier. I know. It would have yeah, done so some good work. It's just instead, a three, it's a three point, point back, back after all that. I know, yeah. Wow. It would have been so strong. It, it could have been a an eight point pack. Could have been an eight better, point a pack. A better circumstances. Yeah. But, there you uh, go. Unfortunately, it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Still wouldn't have won you that Olive Garden gift card. Still wouldn't have gotten so I'm going to put the there. V-Star marker on top because it really is probably your most beloved card from there the There you go. There you go. So three points there for Gil Drew and doesn't get the Olive Garden card. Next up is Nickel. Nickel. Nickel has had a slow climb. They, their first season was three points, then eight. So if you, you they're just on, they're on a steady increase. So, so 13 far. points is what so, we're expecting. Yeah, exactly. Yes. If, if, you know, um, that would be the, the answer on the SAT, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Finish the pattern. If this continues in a linear fashion, so how linear is nickel? <laughs> well, oh, oh man, two backs in a row, Ben, with the wow, V-Star marker. Wait. What is happening? Maybe nickel is another person going for that last place. Can't We haven't had anyone not get a grass Pokemon today, though. Okay, okay. So, oh, and I do see maybe something sticking out. No, I don't. Okay, okay, no, okay. okay. Yeah, All right, let's see. Too soon. Not giving away too much. Nothing scoring so far. Maybe this is. Oh, Volcanian does score though. Okay. Which means we'll have two scoring cards. Oh, oh this what is the heck? Rare Pikachu! Is this our what? fourth one? I think it's our fourth one. Oh my goodness gracious! Well, never mind. Not never going mind. for last. But unfortunately, the V Star will probably take you out. It's gonna. It'll bump. This kid. No, you know what? 
This could help you get into eighth place, I suppose. Okay. So you are going to end up with the, the Pikachu Secret Rare is worth eighteen dollars eighty four cents, so nineteen. Nineteen, and then this will just cancel out with the V Star, so nineteen. Nineteen points. Nineteen points. That's very good. That is very good. That is. It's not a bad position to be in overall. So. Um, let me sleeve that for you there. That Pikachu. Yeah. I cannot wow. believe we have pulled four, four of the of secret these. rares. That's so cool. What a great, what a great card to pull. And I, I was thinking like, this is the only one without a grass Pokemon in it. So it's like, and it had the V star. So and you even sort of did that like little peek to the back thing, and you were like, I don't really see anything. I don't see anything. anything. It does have like the yellow border, which yeah. is a little misleading, but yeah. still a really super great card. Okay, and, so where um, does nineteen put them then? We've had. I'm trying. I was trying to remember what we've already had because our our scoreboard doesn't update with us as the game is progressing. So I know uh, we've had at least one person. Uh, come in. Yeah, 19 would have put you at 8th at the beginning of the day, but we've had people score more. So I think you'll be pushed out. you're at ninth. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you're going to quite so make close, it. So close, but either way, way you really get cool the Pikachu, card. so yes. that's exciting, Nicole. Well done, well done. Man, next up is Aiden. Aiden. Aiden loves uh, chess and cricket. No way, okay. okay. Other other gambling games, you know? Oh, other yeah. games of pure chance. Pure chance, indeed. Chess. That's how I feel about chess. <laughs> Just make moves, maybe you'll win. Maybe you'll win. It's not how chess is at all. Or this game for that matter. Jeez, okay. this, right. is, this is deep strategy. Deep strategy, pure skill with the flip. Lightning Bolt Energy right off the top. Got the Lost Vacuum, the Luxio, the Meowth, the Whalmer, the Shinx, mm -hmm. the Corefish, the Pawniard. The friends and Hisui. Hisui and, and the Waylord. Man, so this is a single point pack, Ben. Okay, we're checking. Which means we gotta check. We're checking. Because if the Waylord is less than what, 10 cents? Man, it's it's but Waylord, as ever, big heavy hitter, 12 cents. No, it's so close. So close. Oh, you were in, in the zip code for You're last in place. The zip code for last that place. I mean, you really the only thing you could have done was pulled one of those V-Star markers. Yeah, and that, that would have worked. That, that would have done worked. it. Man, if only the people right in front of you did do that exact thing, though. The next up is Hyrotis. Hyrotis. Hyrotis, who is, uh, is another person on the climb. They finished with nine points and 14 points. So we're just going to go middle of the pack here. Middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. We'll see what this uh, lands Hyrotis. How the hand scales feel? Well, feel you know, I'm not known for my hand scales as much, and I'm wearing, you know, I've got a, an extra ring on today. Ah, uh, yes, yes, um, yes. Sir. You know, I'm not going to lie. I, it feels regular to me. It feels regular. It feels Regular, but I'm not known for this, so I could be wrong. <laughs> um, they all feel the same to me. Or do they? Or do they? We'll see. Ba -ba -ba -bam! Oh, ba -ba -ba -bam! there we go. Nothing there. All right. Do I? Maybe? No, I can't yeah. tell. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm giving too much away. I know you are. You're, you're like the getting, getting like the impatient. Whelmer, the meowth. The oh, the lunatone. That'll oh, score you some nice. points. Okay, there and we go. The, Enamorous. And enamorous. Okay, let's All check right, out that so let's check a, Yeah, what do we uh, got here? Glaring Gallery number 11 is going to be on this page. $2.99, so a one extra cent rounding. Oh man, yeah. if only. Yep. So three points. The three plus the one is four. four. Four points total. Very close to the Big Steve marker, but not good enough, I'm afraid, Hyrotis. Wow, you got real intense there. Well, you know. You know what? It's not good enough. It's not good enough well, for you, know, apparently. You're not. You know, if you're, if you're not this is a first, game almost. eighth, Big Steve, or last, then, then you may as well be fifth. Then you may as, yeah, exactly. You're basically second. Put that on a bumper sticker. There we go. But you do get the cool Lunatone card. Ooh. There is that, yes. Next up, Ben, is Dakota. Dakota! Oh, if I'm not mistaken, we have a, uh, we'll be playing some Mario Kart with. Yes, yes. Maybe next week? Could be, could be. All right, Dakota, I feel like we owe you a good pack. After we do. all this while. <laughs> I mean, Dakota's finished the last couple seasons at seven points, at 12 points, so they have improved, uh, but haven't quite had that big pack they're looking for. Yes. Kabam. With the flip. Teardrop, teardrop energy. energy. Yep. The Lairon. Okay, Carnivine scores. Score. Yep. Shinx, the Wooloo, the Helioptile. Oh, Ooh! the Duskull. We haven't okay, seen that one that's yet. That's a first. Okay. That is, and, all right. Oh! Oh my god! Wow, very fun. Leafeon is everywhere today. That's our third V Star. I know, that's wild. Okay, so uh, the Leafeon is going to come in. It'll get the type advantage, right? So it'll be $2.10, which will get you up to three points, plus an additional point for being Grass. salad. So four points, right. right? Yep. Okay, and then five with the Carnivine. Right, and then so. What is the Duskull? Duskull is 28. 28. Dollar sixteen to an extra two points, so, so seven points total. Seven points total. So even though 
Two very fun cards. We only land at seven points total. Oh. If only. Very close. But at least you have the Leafy on V-Star. Yes. And this pretty dust skull. For your for your shelf. There you go. That I like to I Or like you're that. safe. Or you're safe. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said shelf. Yeah. Clearly all points. these are going into safes. Yeah. <clears throat> no doubt. No doubt. Especially that eight point radiant Charizard. <laughs> Not two point. <laughs> Not two point. <laughs> I never get to be right about anything. I love how many Leafeons we're seeing today because it makes me feel like moving the skateboards really made a difference. No, it definitely didn't. It definitely, it definitely did. didn't. It did nothing. Right here. Theme of the episode. I really can't argue with that. Uh, All with the uh, Leafeons. It's just basic maths. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Heather Lynn. Here we go. Heather. How many of you Far left. Far left. Okay. Far left for Heather. 12 points <clears throat> last season. Mm-hmm. Are they looking to improve? Are they looking for a last place? Who knows? Man, I can't believe how close that Waylord got to the last place I know. Spot. I mean, goodness gracious. Bam. Eyeball energy. So not a zero point pack, but a possible okay. one point pack if there's no... Uh, well, Scyther grass. Score, yeah. Scyther is ruining everyone's day for last place. <laughs> it is... Oh, the Bimbero! I love this card. It, it is, is a really cute artwork. card. And the Zera Aura. All right, okay. there we go. So you know, three scoring cards. Let's see, it's number 25 on the Galarian Gallery, so yes. let's take a quick look, see there. $2.13 <coughs> cents with three points. So, oh. five total. Oh, wait! Five total means we need to at least know how much, we already checked for the rare we card We just value. did, yeah, so I and think And it was how the, much, yeah, that's where most of your points are coming for. So, even though you're at five points, it is too much uh, value to land you the big Steve spot there. Right, yes. Too, too much value, usually a good thing in this game. In this particular instance, the worst case scenario you could have imagined. Well, at least you got a full art card. It could have been too much value and a like not I, fun card. Like I said, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. Bibberell's cool Good though. job. You can use that. Well done. Next up is Lauren B. Lauren B. Lauren B. Probably from The Bachelor, if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh yeah, I think that's very This likely. is Lauren B. Um, Ari's girlfriend. Oh yes, yes. Right. Slash wife maybe now? Wife maybe I believe, now. I believe Who's so. It's been a long time. It's been a while I since sort of, that season. Sort I'm not of, really watching anymore. Yeah, kind of abandoned it. Yeah. I'll watch this instead. Kind of, kind of a little off the rails. Yeah. Stop being so dramatic. Boom. All right. Steel energy for Lauren B. Here we go. The Cherubi scores. Youngest of the, the Scyther, Scyther, scores. Scyther is everywhere, everywhere today, know, man. Yes. It's a great day to be Scyther. The Pangoro does score. That's a rare card. And the Dragology score. So four scoring cards, but it looks like a four-point pack. Four-point pack. As well. So very close to that five-point pack. And honestly, well, it had it, no, because there was two rare, so it probably wouldn't have been. It would have been tough. It would have been tough, been tough hard. indeed. Yeah, no, I, I wish that had another set that was sorted by... by uh, like the value of the rares just now that it is relevant to us. I'm, yeah. I'm just not seeing much that's going to be worth such a low value. Right. I, I, they almost played it perfectly. They did. All right. Next up is, oh, it's crowd favorite, man. It's Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee. Yes. Okay. All right. Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee came out of the gates uh, on the show with uh, 24 points in her first season, then dropped all the way down to six. So now it's its third season, you know, can they find their groove? I know, we'll see, we'll see. I can spot a Badoof already, so we know that there's okay. going to be at least one one scoring card, at least two as well, because there will be a rare. It's a rare as well, yeah. yeah. This is the Bisharp. Yeah. The Badoof scores, scores, the coughing. Mm-hmm. Purloin. Grubbin, Grubbin scores. scores. Oh, oh there's the Voltorb! Voltorb! I was just going to say, we, we keep talking about the Voltorb, no one's pulled it, but actually it's grass, so it will... Oh my gosh, wow, what a fantastic exception. Yeah. I, it's always... So it'll just be two points. Yeah, right? and the Entei. And the Entei will be one, so one, two, three, four, five points total. Oh wait, five points total? That means, I, oh, guess, I guess we could check. We could check. Two... I, I bet that despite not being worth, yeah, so the, the Hisuian Voltorb is still going to be worth uh, 72 cents. Okay. So, so while, yeah. while then, it is the lowest value of the Galarian Gallery, it's still going to probably outrun. Yeah, because then we'd have to take in the Entei as well, and obviously yeah, it just doesn't right. matter. But either way, you get the Voltorb. Congratulations. Yay. There you go. It it's it's totally basically a famous card amongst this set. I kind of right. have like a soft spot in my heart for it now. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt, no doubt. All right, next up we have Zach. Zach currently teaching 51 people piano or guitar every week. Oh yeah, yeah. We've talked about yeah, Zach before. We have. A truly remarkable thing. Yeah. 51 people. 50, that's a lot. It's that like, is a lot. Whew. I need I need to be one of those people. I've wanted to learn how to play the guitar for like, I feel like eight years now. Eight years now? I think so. Man. I should just really get around to doing it. Yeah. Dark Teardrop. Nothing's stopping you. Dark Teardrop, the digging duo. Let's see, are we gonna get... Oh, the, the Cricket Top scores. scores yeah. the, yeah, oh! 
a full art trainer, Sharon's Care. That's awesome. Followed by the Leon as well, which is going to score too. But clearly that Sharon's Care is going to be our big win. This is a pretty good card. When it came out, it was paired with Arceus a lot. It allows you to basically just pick up the whole Pokemon energy and everything, completely heal it, swap something else in. Comes in at $4.92. <laughs> so five wow. points for Sharon's Care plus six Seven, eight, man, eight, eight total points. points. I'm a little surprised that Sharon's Care isn't more. Worth more, yeah. It is entirely possible. So the the Crown Zenith set was out for at least a few weeks by the time we we selected our price guide here, which I think gives you a little bit of time for the prices to like shimmy their way down to like right. a more accurate it's representation. It's not like yeah, day one skyrocket prices, which is what kind of blows my <clears> mind <throat> with that one secret rare Pikachu that we keep getting because this is like it's like it was worth 19 points. Weeks later, yeah, and we pulled four of we them. We pulled four of them, so maybe we're just getting really lucky. But then it's also is that like the Pikachu effect, where it's like, oh, there's one secret rare this this set. It's Pikachu. Everyone loves it. Um, hard to say. Hard to say. Next up, we have Cal. Started Cal. collecting as a child. Is excited to start again. Go ahead. Let's swim me. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Hand scale. Hand scale. Do you want to help? I feel like I yeah. I I know which one I think. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. I would get this one. That's what I thought too. Okay. 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 On the same Double page. hand scales confirmed just for you, Cal. I'm gonna shuffle this one back. Yeah, in so there, people so don't you know, get that reject like, yeah, pack. Yeah. And they don't know if they get the reject oh, pack. Man, I just picked up one heavy pack though. Woo! One of those is great. <clears throat> All right, here we go, Cal. We're the Carlin Brother hand scales up to snuff. <laughs> right. Steel energy. Bam. Dust Clops, Rare Candy, Salazzle, Switch, nothing so far. Sharubi scores, Young Goose, Riolu, the Radiant yeah. Eternatus, not eight points, I bet, and the Dragalgy. Oh man, so maybe we were just feeling that Radiant, that Radiant foil maybe it sort was. of sneaking its way through. Let's double check though, just to be sure, because the Radiant sometimes are worth more. If we get to number 105, it is worth more and a whopping two points. Wow, two. Dollar, dollar fifty for so, uh, four total. Lots of people like clawing around the Big Steve region, but no, not a lot of people landing right at the five points. I know, yeah, so this is a, this is a curiosity we've had for the Big Steve Award. Um, whether or not it'd be worth opening all of his packs for like a three pack season on Day Go on one, day one, just so, so that we know, know like mm. what what everybody's kind of like actually looking for. That like is the target doesn't keep moving. That's probably good as far as because then we can uh, keep track of it the whole time. Yes. All right, I like that idea. Moving forward, uh, next up is en Enselman. Enselman. <laughs> Enselman owns three shiny Paris, two shiny Paris X, and Legends Arceus. Man, lucky person. <clears throat> Paris, of course, one of the most beloved Pokemon of all time. Of all time. Of all time. With the flip, the dark tear drop. I think there is a full art Paris. So it'd be really funny if they got that. I am feeling good though. I am feeling good. Yeah. Shaman, Crush Camera, the Seal, the Rock Ruff, Aaron. Oh, oh, there is we something. Go. There is something. Uh -oh. Starly and, and oh, oh, it's a zero or a V Max. That's a really cool that, that piece is. of artwork there. What who, little, who is little Snuggle? Pachirisu. Pachirisu. Yeah. Oh, a little say. Molga down there too. Yeah. That's so fun. Adorable. And, and the Hexagutor. Hex 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 okay, right, which is yeah. a little less exciting. A little it less is, thrilling it is. indeed. Um, okay, so let's see. Glaring Gallery number 42. Man, we, I feel like we pulled a lot of Zara Aura on this season. Super solid, super solid scoring here. We're gonna have $15.55. So, so 16, 16 points, 17. 17 overall. Would have been in like pretty good position at the start of the day for that quality <coughs> eighth place. But I think now you're probably looking at like maybe like ninth, 10th. Yeah. Uh, kind of has been shifted down a little bit. We'll make sure I get that sleeve for you. This is a really beautiful card no matter what though. So um, regardless of, of the points, Definitely a cool piece headed your way. Yes, it is. Bam, put that in your safe and lock it. Then never look at it again. Never, never. never. Eyeballs apparently uh, deteriorate cards. That's right. The more you watch them. <laughs> the, more you, the more something's been looked at, quality goes down. Quality goes All down. right, next up is, that's why it's so great to be on YouTube. Um, next up is Annika. Okay. Going around in the middle there for Annika. Bam. One collect Pokemon cards for a while and thought this would be a good way to start. I agree. I agree I as agree. well. Best way to do it. No doubt, no doubt. If you'd like a packed open for you, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercongaming. Select the box breakers here. That's right. Rock is pummeling energy. Here we go. Can we get a score? Can we get a big one? No. Do we see something sneaking out back there, Ben? I Double switch. Okay, oh, that's there's interesting. Something. Oh, there's something and... Again. It's a Charizard! Now, as it were, 
Sorry. This looks like bulk V, but as ever, never a bad day to pull a Charizard. Never a bad day. Three dollars twenty-five cents. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say that that has a little bit of the Charizard tax. That absolutely on it. does because it's, like this is not a competitive card, and it's like probably the most common version of Charizard you can pull at the moment. Uh, but it's still worth four dollars. If this was any other Pokemon of that description, it'd be definitely under a dollar. And yes, absolutely. So but either which go. way, I mean, never a bad day to pull a Charizard. Never a bad day. There, there you go. go. Sleeved up for you, headed you your just, way. You just pulled a Charizard, Annika. Well done. Next up, Ben, it's, oh, we have another person up for Rookie of the Day. It's Christopher Cerulli. Looking for 17, uh, looking for Looking for 18 points. 18 points, yeah. yes. Or I guess 17 high card value, right? Am I up? I think you're up. Okay, I'll go, I'll go. Here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> What's Chris got? Got the young shoes. Well, hold on, maybe we didn't see that yet. Dark Teardrop Energy. <coughs> it's been a while Crushing since we've had a salad. I know, Digging Duo. Oh, well, there's a Sharubi. Yeah, the the Gloom score, score and the Tangro score. Now the Tangro had a big score earlier today. Yes, so uh, I think that this is just gonna be six points total, right? Just three, right? Because it's not... Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. I think we're both wrong. Because this will be worth two. Three, four? Yes, it is four. You are correct. Thanks. Yeah, we got it. We can do the math. Math, math, math. It's tricky when the, the rare card has the type advantage on it. <laughs> it's also tricky when we haven't paid the math budget in weeks. That's true. So four points there. So many people coming into that four point marker in this episode. Oh, incomplete thought <clears throat> from earlier, which was that uh, I do know that on occasion we have made uh, scoring errors and we do fix them in post uh, when discovered. But also if you ever spot it, be sure to let us know in the comments. Yes, please do. All right, next up, Buggin is, uh, that's your name. Buggin. It is Moss Twig. My, my name is Buggin. Buggin. Buggin Ben. You can call me Buggin. That's what they, that's what they called him in high school. You can you can interact with me. Uh, what is the forest that you run into right after you leave like Pallet Town? Viridian Forest. forest. Yeah. yeah, that's where you can find Bug and Ben. Bug and Ben. He's Bug out there, ben. just like he's like just I like, got a Metapod here. Want to fight? <laughs> yeah. It has one attack. Oh, but, here we, there we go. go. There we go. Salad energy on the table. Could we have a big score? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Okay. Okay. Maybe okay. something's sneaking out back you there. You have no patience yeah, today. I, at all. I can just see it. And I get excited. The cricket top scores. The shinks. The bead actually scores. And oh yeah, there's something. There's it's something. gonna be Rayquaza V. All right. So let's see. I think this is probably three. Then whatever the Rayquaza is, and we'll multiply it all times two. So it is. It does fall into that bulk V status. Mm. It's gonna be worth eighty cents. Wow. So just so a just single point. This is what we were talking about half. just before with the uh, with that Charizard, where it's like hey, any other card of that same category. Exactly. You Exactly. Yeah, you gotta be pretty competitive. You know, but. you'd think even like a card like Rayquaza, you know, big legendary crowd favorite. Nah. Nah. Makes sense. Yeah. Nah, thanks, bro. Nah, no, thanks. Next up, Jade. 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 Okay. Was the president of a Harry Potter fan club? No way. In high school. How about that? Yeah, I like Harry Potter. I know. What a good, what a good thing. I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah. I don't think we had a Harry Potter fan club at our no, school, I don't but think so either. I would have been a member for sure. One, two, three, four, to the front with the flip. Teardrop energy right off the front. Bam. We got the Graveler, the Rare Candy, the Luxio, the Whalemur, the Pokeball, the Corefish, the Oddish scores. scores, the Seal, the Entei, Entei does and score. And oh, the Rick was a B Max. How so about on that? the other side of things. Just back All to right, back. So. All right, so let's check TD. One of. I even think that we literally just went from number 100 in the set, which is worth 80 cents, to 101 in the set, which is worth $2.88. Wow, so still not that much more. Three, four, five point pack total. I'll but see. of course, so that is Big Steve's scoring number. However, obviously your Rayquaza is way too valuable to uh, land you directly in front of Big Steve. <laughs> Unfortunately, your card is way, way too valuable. Too way too good. Way too good, yes. It's weird how the scoring for this goes because like you have to have the same... Uh, no, but Steve, have we been getting this wrong, Steve? No, he has four points, so yeah, you need five. Yeah, we're yes. good, we're good. No, we're good, we're good, we're yeah. good. It's because you want to be directly in front of him, which means you need to have the, the lowest, lowest five-point pack. It's right, like a, and for whatever reason, I think literally up until today, we have 64 players, Big Steve is in 24th overall. Like, he just keeps finding himself at the, like, the, the, around the right top the of the bell curve. curve. You know, 
Just makes sense, but one, you know, Steven is gonna be at one point like in first place and it's gonna be like, uh oh. He is like, yes, when it comes to opening packs, he's one of the luckiest people I know and I feel like that will eventually translate to this show. Man, all right, next up we have Stacy. Uh, and I have a note here that I guess last season, Stacy spoiled Omega out of eighth place. So oh. Stacy must have finished in eighth place last season. Strong rivalry between Stacy wow. and Omega. Yeah, all right, so we're here. We're keeping track of these rivalries, people. Don't you worry. Yeah, I wonder, is Omega on the board currently? I want to know like what the what the marker would be to watch yeah, do out we see for. Omega on there already. Omega currently has four points. Oh my gosh! So, so not maybe. really a great way to spoil Omega. Although it would be really funny at four points, which is tied with Big Steve, if Stacy pulled five and pulled somehow five won and the Big some, Steve. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Play spoiler again. Right. Let's see if Stacy has anything for us today. Boom! Eyeball energy. You love to see it. No big bonus today, but. There's the Lunatone, the Riolu, the Rockruff, the Seal, the Ponar, the Scyther, a rare Scyther, and, and the Stoutland, another. Okay. I do like Stoutland as a Pokemon overall. It looks like Bulk V to me. We'll double check. Just we'll for double safety. check. Number 116 on the set is going to be worth 69 cents with a round up to one point. So, so that's two point be pack. Two point pack overall. Omega is sitting there like, all right, Woo! all right. Balls so back Omega and takes court. this round, I guess. I know, I, I know. Guess. Yep, there we go. Wow. We'll see how it goes going forward, but there either way, still got that uh, that full art headed your way. Oh no! All right, we have Ek Sko. Hey, your favorite coming in. My favorite, easy to pronounce <laughs> patron. Oh my goodness! Uh, Let's see what we can do for him. Am I up? Are you up? Wow. I just did it. I okay. just did it. Okay. I pulled okay. Stasis. Okay. Yeah. Ek Sko last season, twenty six points. I believe one one uh, something. Did they? I believe so. Okay. I well, I don't so. have a note of that on my card, but I could. They, they still could have won something. <coughs> oh, With man. the flip, the lightning so, bolt energy. Man, I really thought coming into this uh, this day that um, Hoof Talk was going to be dethroned off first place, but so far it hasn't happened. I feel like you just jinxed it. Well, I, feel, I feel like you just jinxed it. They're like, they're like, come oh, on! Why would you say that? Don't say the don't thing. Don't say the thing. Why oh, would you do the, it? Oh, oh okay. wow, that's really cool looking. Got, a, Absol's got one of the best designs of all Pokemon. Absolutely beautiful card. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Indeed. Uh, so Glaring Gallery number 16 is probably going to be where the points are at. $2.11 for the Absol. So, so that'd be three, three four points. Four points. Total, Total for EK Sco. Excellent, uh, excellent showing with the Absol. This is the first Absol we've seen. I believe so. A really cool looking card. Let's, man. Let's see if we can drop it in a sleeve form there. There you go. Next up, we only have two more potential uh, patrons who can knock down CK Hoofduck on today's episode. Uh, our next contestant is Dockery. Dockery! All right. Yes. As ooh, in ooh. Hickory Dickory Dockery. Something about the pack. You know, did you feel some? Did you get some hand weight on that? I didn't get any hand weight. I didn't. I, didn't, I wasn't even near it. But I just, you just got something like a, about you got like it. Like a smell? May, I don't, maybe. Well, oh, maybe oh, what oh. you smelled was the dreaded V star marker. marker. Bam! Here we go. How are we gonna do? Will it affect it? We got the giraffe rig there. The pink kerchin. Rescue carry. The cricket tot scores. The chat out. The Mister Mind. The, the sun scores. scores. The Calyrex scores. And, and the, the Zara Aura. Aura, so that's gonna score twice. Okay, yes. So and the Sun be... will score twice. Oh, you're right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Minus one is five points. Ooh, oh, wait. hang on a second. Okay, but we do have two rares. We do which have I think two would rares. Probably make it impossible. Number seventeen is the is the Calyrex. That's gonna be worth. Yeah, that's worth forty-seven points. Oh. 47, 47 cents. Forty-seven cents right wow. there. Wow. So that immediately takes you. Money out. bags, Calyrex. That's their <laughs> note. Yeah. Like we would have had to have talked about that in 12 cents for the Zara Aura. Yeah. So. Oh man, if it was just the Zara Aura, you still, really close. Yeah, you still would have lost, but <laughs> it would have been really close. Uh, anyway, five points, solid showing for the Big Steve Award. And our last contestant of the day. Boy, you know that CK Hoofduck is watching. They're like, gosh, it's so close. They will, if they can survive this and one more episode, they're our big champion. But not a single person has pulled one of like the uh, the Palkia, Dialga, Giratina, or Arceus like secret rares. Okay. Yeah, they're not secret rares. The um, the like Alt Art V stars. Alt Art V stars. Okay. Which are epic, and the four of them come together to make one piece of art, so it's really cool. But uh, thus far, no one's got it yet. No salt. No salt. Okay. Maybe this will be it. Maybe this will be it. Maybe this is the moment. 
in this moment. Okay, let's see. To the front with the flip. Oh, we got the ghost. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. So not a bad start, not a bad start. So that's Tangela, that yeah. That's two points right there. Starting to take away the Pancham. Pancham, the Raihan scores, and, and another oh, Absol. Oh. All right, so I think that's just going to be a six point pack total. Raihan scores, right? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah. so I believe yeah. so. Yes, yeah, so one, two, three. Six points, Six points on the season. Well, solid showing for Caitlyn right there. You've got the Tangela there. It was sort of a fun day. It was a fun day for all the grass Pokemon. We had the Tangrowth. It was a, it was uh, a big day. Up. We had all the, all the Leafeons. Yes, the Leafeons. We did have somebody like striking distance for first place, which yes. is always exciting. 39 points. I know. Oh, so man. close. CK Hoof Talk holds on another day. They have one episode to go. They're going to be sitting there next time just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Gosh, oh my gosh. But uh, next time will be the finale of the crown zenith season. Yes, yeah, so and we will, we will, we will be able to crown the champions. Crown the victors. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm getting so excited because we're we're dipping into the Scarlet and Violet Scarlet collection. Base set coming uh, up very soon. Back to a three month long season, which will be starting uh, in the month of April. So if you'd like to get in on it, you can head on over to patreon.com slash gaming and select the box breakers tier. Yeah, hope you do. Although I think we, we are, if not sold out, very very close to being sold out. Very close, very yeah. close indeed. Yeah, so uh, it's definitely something to keep eyes on. If you've kind of been like on the fence or anything, be sure to yeah. check it out. Uh, but otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in as ever. Until next time, bye! bye.